Some people cannot imagine how this Fibonacci 60 digit circle could possibly be a wave of energy or represent a wave or quanta of light. When scientists study light, they find that light is an electromagnetic wave made up of an electrical field and a magnetic field running perpendicular or at 90 degrees to each other as seen in the image. So how can this circle of 60 numbers be a wave or travel perpendicular to our line of sight? Take a look at this video. It shows a few particles as red dots traveling along a wave and moving inside a closed circuit. You can easily imagine this as being a wave of energy. And as you can see here, the particles are oscillating between 0 and 9. The particles are actually following the Fibonacci 60 digit cipher. They go from 0 to 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, etc., completing the entire 60 digit cipher. You can see that the red dots have a certain energy to them. What has this got to do with light? We know that light is made up of two fields of energy traveling perpendicular to each other. So let us rotate this wave and see what happens. Here I am slowly rotating it up to 90 degrees. You can now clearly see that the red dots are following a closed circuit oscillating between 0 and 9. Incredibly, once this image is rotated a full 90 degrees, you cannot see the perpendicular wave anymore. You can now only see a bunch of circles linked up into the seed of life pattern with the red particles or red dots moving in an orbit around their nuclei. It is hard to imagine that this image could be made up of two waves or fields of energy, but there it is. Here is an accelerated version of that 90 degree rotation. You must remember that in reality, an electron is moving around its nucleus at such incredible speed that it can exist at any point inside a probability cloud surrounding the nucleus. And then, just to rotate it back 90 degrees, so you can see it is the same wave, I use seven of these waves for dramatic effect. But here, you can see what one wave or quanta of energy would look like. Of course, in reality, the energy would be flowing or moving far faster than this. Once again, I can rotate that circular wave 90 degrees and you can see the perpendicular wave. When scientists study the universe, they see that in the beginning, there was only hydrogen. This hydrogen somehow coalesces to form helium and together they ignite into a star. Inside the nuclear furnace of a star, these simple hydrogen and helium elements are fused together to form all the other heavier elements like carbon and iron, etc. So, inside a star, these simple building blocks of hydrogen and helium are fused together to form the heavier elements. When the star explodes in a supernova, those elements are scattered into the universe. I believe that the universe is only a matrix. We have these simple building blocks or quanta of energy, which are really a quanta of mathematical information. Inside a star, these building blocks of information are fused into larger building blocks of more complex information. But the larger or heavier building blocks all contain the same information as the smaller blocks. They are like the individual cells in your body that all contain the information about your entire self. If you look at all of nature, everything is following the simple pattern. A hydrogen atom is a simple circumference with a nucleus. The orbiting electron creates the circumference. The proton is the nucleus. 
When we look at the entire Earth, we can see the same basic concept. The Earth is the nucleus and the Moon rotates around the Earth forming a circumference. If we zoom out even further, we see that in the solar system, the Sun is the nucleus and planets all orbit around the Sun forming a circumference. The structures are all getting more complex, but the basic principle or the basic building blocks are all the same. The macrocosm is following the same rules as the microcosm. If we zoom out even further, we see that in a galaxy, entire solar systems rotate around a black hole as its nucleus. The entire concept of creation and existence boils down to a nucleus and a circumference, a circle. When we look back in time, this circle is very basic. It's a single proton as the nucleus and an orbiting electron. These basic building blocks are fused together inside a star to form heavier or more complex building blocks. So what is existence itself? What is the universe? In the bigger picture, we are the nuclei and the entire universe exists around us. Our brains take the information inside these building blocks that travel to us in the form of light and we construct the universe we see around us. It's all a very complex matrix and a simulation. Thank you for watching.